I've got a really simple practice. You call it the task audit. For me, I open a Google Sheet and I leave it open for a month. And I periodically just revisit and just keep adding things to this. And it's become something I now advise to my clients because if I give them something too complicated as a busy business owner when we're just getting started, they're not going to do it. So it's simple. Just open this sheet and just keep adding your daily, weekly, monthly to up. You know, you're working. Oh, there's another one. And so I do this myself. And that's how I've just gone through the list and gone, could I buy someone else's time for cheaper than I'm earning here and optimize my time. So I'm focusing on my unique ability and earning more. And really, if you look at a really crude calculation that I like is if you were to say whatever you've paid yourself for a year, so just the math simply, if I said I paid myself 100,000 a year, and then I divide that by 2000 to get a crude hourly rate, that's 50 bucks an hour. If you were to say a quarter of that is a reasonable case to buy someone's time, so 1250 an hour, could you buy someone's time, then that makes it an absolute no brainer. If you can hire as you said, a thousand bucks a month for someone in a lower cost location, then you can hand off a whole load of your admin. And even now while I'm moving my house, I've got someone working for me who's going to go and look at all of the places I can move to and fit all of the criteria and tick, tick, tick. It's an enormous amount of time back that I've got by doing that. And it's allowed me to focus on the highest value thing for my team, for my clients.